Hello, welcome back. I'm Noreen Burke from The Crafty Organizer. If you are new, it is so nice to have you here. And if you're returning, it's great to see you again. Today I want to talk to you about command strips. Now this is not a sponsored video. I just find that these are such an amazing tool and I've got some genius ideas to share with you today. Let's get started. Now, there have been many times I've come into a home and suggested command strips to clients and they want nothing to do with them. They've either tried them and had something come crashing off the wall or worse yet, they've had their drywall rip off because it wasn't installed properly. So I want to talk to you about the many types of command strips that are out there, the proper ways to install them and the proper way to remove them. After that, I'm going to show you some incredible ideas that you're going to think are genius and I'm hoping will give you some great storage ideas in your home. Now, first off, I want to say again, I am not sponsored by Command Strip, but if they want to reach out to me, I would be happy to do a collaboration. But on each one of the packages, it will show you the weight capacity. Now, you can play with that a little bit by adding a couple of strips to these, especially if you're using the poster adhesers or the Velcro adhesers, which I love. But if you're using hooks and you're able to use two, this will distribute the weight and you can usually offset anything if you're concerned about it being too heavy for a hook by adding a second one. There's also a lot of different styles visually. If you like the thicker farmhouse look, if you like the more industrial hook, 3M has gotten really creative at giving you different finishes, but did you know that you could spray paint these hooks? You can spray paint these and it will match whatever your decor is. The nice thing with this is if you don't want it to stick out, you can paint it the same color as your wall and it will completely become invisible. Or if you want it to stick out like these farmhouse hooks, you can paint them the color that you want and have them as a really nice decorative feature without it costing a lot of money. So for proper application, they do need a smooth surface. So you can't stick these on a stuccoed surface or anything that's super rough. Wood is also difficult because it's got texture to it. These products need a smooth wall. So a nice smooth drywall that has paint on it already or any type of plastic wall, a smooth wood surface that isn't too porous. These are the best type of surfaces for command strips. The other thing you want to do is completely clean the area first. If there's any type of dust or moisture or any type of residue on that surface, they will not have that great adhesion that 3M is known for. The next thing is the one that I hear most people go, oh, I didn't know that. When you adhere the strips to the hook or the item that you're attaching it to, it needs to cure for a minimum of one hour, but they suggest up to 24. I usually get impatient and I wait about an hour to an hour and a half, but that cure time is what gives it that really good solid hold. After that, you're ready to hang your item. Now, when it comes to removing these, the trick is to take the tab and pull straight down slowly. The way that they have designed these, the strip becomes thinner and that is what releases from the wall. If you pull out at all, it is going to remove the drywall or part of the surface that you've attached it to. They are that strong. So make sure you're pulling down slowly. Now, if you ever do have a situation where that tab breaks and you're thinking, oh my gosh, how am I going to get this off the wall? Get yourself some dental floss, go against the wall behind where the strip is and just floss your way down the wall. This will remove the hook and then you can gently roll the rest of the adhesion off of your surface. Now I know that some of the dollar stores have some brands that are pretty good. I have tried the removable ones from my Dollar Tree and they're great, uh, but they don't hold quite as long and they don't hold quite as much as they claim to, but I have found them completely efficient for smaller lightweight things. The only thing I implore you to do is make sure you're looking. One is removable and one just says adhesive. That one is not going to remove easily. You're going to need a lot of scraping and some sort of goo gone or other solvent to get that off of a surface, which could absolutely damage it depending upon what it is. So make sure you're looking for the ones that say removable. 
Now that you know how to apply these, let's look at some genius ideas for how you can use these around the house. Let's start in the kitchen. A lot of these are ideas to use a command strip in a way that we weren't thinking about before. This first one is an absolute, I'm doing this one. If you've ever had these trash can liners that constantly slide out, you probably do what I've done, which is try and tie it, and then you struggle to get it off, or you don't tie it tight enough, and it still slips down. What about applying a small command strip upside down so that those handle pulls can grab the hook and not slide in anymore? It's super easy to remove, and you have no more disappearing liners inside your trash can. I like using my canisters and oftentimes it's the same scoop that I use every single time. Why not allow a small command strip with an extra scoop to sit outside of that canister? You'll always know where your measurer is and I think it looks kind of cute on the outside of your container. I've used command strips for baskets multiple times. Anytime you have one of those dead spaces, either inside of a cabinet or inside of a door, adding some command strips with a small basket allows you to tuck extra things that you grab frequently and you're not taking up any additional space. If you know someone who has little ones or you still have little ones coming around, keep a command strip on the back of the high chair. No more searching for bibs or towels and you've got those extra ones right there and it also gives you a home after you wash them without having to take up any extra storage space. I love the idea of using these hooks under a cabinet. No need to create an entire coffee bar when you can use an underside cabinet to display those cups that you like so much. And this again, frees up that inside storage space for those cabinets. How about a couple of larger hooks so that you can slide your phone or your tablet inside much easier when you're using recipes. And again, it's not taking up any counter space as you're using it for reference. This one is probably one of my favorites. Inside of cabinets, there's always a little bit of space that just gets lost, especially if it's up behind where a larger item is. What about using that dead space behind an appliance for those extra items so you always know where they're at? You can also use the inside of the door to hang them all. Now this next item, I haven't tried myself, but when I saw this, I thought this was a really good one. It's intended for garages so that you can mount it to the wall and with a quick flip of the release, a large arm comes down that is flexible that holds your extension cords. Now keeping them on a wall is a great idea. It keeps them from getting tangled up, keeps you from having to look for them and they're super easy to get to. But a couple people on the internet are genius because look what they're using these for. How many times do you go to put away an appliance and there isn't a place to put the cord? So we wind it around the appliance, which ends up being a pain in the bottom when we have to take it apart. Using this cord holder for the appliance cord is genius. This could be used for your crock pots, your large mixers, or what about if you have one of those fans or heaters? I love the idea for keeping the cord out of the way and allowing it to be wrapped up neatly. Now let's move into the craft room. There's a lot of ideas that you can use on the craft room. Most of these involve wall space. So if you have your wrapping paper, your washi tapes, but what about areas like the side of a cabinet or a file cabinet for your mats, your rulers? I think this is a great use for command strips. It also allows you to display art on hooks or individual pieces with hangers, but inside of cabinet doors or drawers is where you can really get creative with these to allow those small items to have a home so that when you open the cabinet door, they're within reach and they don't get lost. Moving into closets, command strips are great. I've spoken about this before for jewelry pieces, scarves, hats. But what about behind a door where you can put just a couple of hooks, put some little string or rope, and use laundry clips? This is great to hang up a multitude of items in a space that is otherwise just dead space. Now to this point, I had already talked about a lot of these in previous videos, but the ones I'm about to show you right now you guys are going to be excited about these. Here are ways to use command strips in other areas of the home that are genius. If you lose your remote controls, 
Having those Velcro command strips will allow you to keep the remote for your TV, your heater, your fan in one place so that you can always find them. You can even put the command strip underneath a table so they're out of sight, but you know where they're at. What about if you're a renter and you need to add a shelf, but you don't have the ability to add wooden cleats? Using a few of the stronger hold command strips will allow you to place an open style shelf in an area to give you more storage. If you hate seeing cords like I do, there are a ton of products out there that will allow you to hide the wires around furniture for a no cord view. Guess what these are? Scrabble board holders. I love this idea and I am always looking for Scrabble boards whenever I go to a thrift store. If it's missing pieces, I don't care. I love the little letter tiles, but using the holder as a small picture frame holder I think is the cutest idea. And with just two small command strips, you can adhere them to the wall and they're out of sight. And by the way, did you know that the strips come in a clear option now? So you don't even see the tab hanging out. Here's another idea I really love. If you have seat cushions, you know that sometimes they could be a little bit dangerous because as you sit down, they slip off the chair. Take a few of the Velcro command strips, attach one to the seat. I would add a stitch or two to the fabric side, but now you won't have any slipping when you sit down on your seat. This is also a great idea if you have a carpet that wiggles around. Now I use the non-slip shelf liners that you can get from the Dollar Tree under rugs, but if you already have a mat down and you're finding it still moving a little bit, using one of those Velcro strips should lock it in place. This is an idea I'd seen a few years ago and I ended up using it. We used the Dollar Tree version of the smaller command strips to make our wall-mounted Christmas tree. I really loved this one. It was a fun one for our family and it was super easy to take off. These are the ones that I tried the first time. They popped off a couple of times, so I would have to either replace them or just really hold it in place to get it back in. But other than a few mishaps on a couple of the boughs, it worked great. So there really are a lot of fun ideas that you can use with these command strips. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried them, what your successes were, and if you've had fails. Most of the time when I've spoken with clients, a couple of the things they didn't do is they didn't know they had to clean the area first and they didn't let it cure before hanging something on there. I think my favorite command hook use is supposed to be for a broom handle, but I use it to hold my step ladder. Because it's in the garage, if there's any type of small earthquake, it falls over, it's going to prevent me from actually getting into my space again. So I use it on a different orientation so that it's actually grabbing the handle when I stand up my step stool. I love this. It's been a great use for me in my garage. And if I find one at the dollar store, I promise you I will try it to see how it used. Now I know this whole thing sounded like a giant commercial. I promise it's not. Anytime I see a dupe of one of these products for a lesser price, I will always try it out. And when I find one that works for you, I'll make sure to share it. That's all I have for you guys today. I am currently working on a virtual organizing that I got to do with one of the viewers. We had so much fun doing it, so I'm just finalizing those little bits, sending it to them so that they give me approval, and then I will be posting it. So make sure that you are subscribed so that you get notified when that gets put up. Those and all of my videos are thanks to my patrons. So if you're interested in becoming a channel supporter, that information is below, but I couldn't do it without them and I wouldn't be able to do this without you. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in just a couple days. Bye.